Some people like to spend their vacation relaxing on a sandy beach, and some people like to explore the world seeking adrenaline along the way. When we think of typical tourist destinations, we might think of breathtaking landmarks or beautiful resorts. However, there's a darker side to tourism. Uh, I fell through that hole. <sighs> Thankfully, I didn't keep falling. From desert islands that suffered nuclear explosions to a floating cage where you can feed killer crocs, these are the 15 most dangerous tourist destinations in the world. Everybody get off the deck. Harbin Tiger Park. The majestic Siberian tiger is the biggest cat in the world, but unfortunately, it's also one of the most endangered creatures on the planet. The number of these beautiful tigers left in the wild is said to be no more than 500, and they've already been brought back from the brink of extinction in the past. The Harbin Tiger Park in China was built back in 1996 over a million square meters of land located north of the Songhua River and the owners claim that the park was designed to help preserve this exotic tiger species. Today, thousands of tourists visit this controversial park every year for the opportunity to immerse themselves in the life of a Siberian tiger. Guests can drive around the park in an armored bus that's coated in wire mesh while the tigers run free. However, when it comes to dinner time, many people around the world have been shocked by the park's unusual feeding frenzy. Guests can order live animals off of a menu of chickens, goats, and cows and pay a fee to watch the tigers hunt these unfortunate creatures down. By the looks of some of the photos and footage that's emerged from the park, this could be one of the most dangerous tourist destinations in the world. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Crocodile Feeding Pool in Chonburi from hungry tigers in China to ravenous reptiles in Thailand, this insane tourist attraction in Chonburi offered visitors the chance to feed hunks of meat to a swarm of creepy crocs swimming in a pond below. Yep, the Elephant Kingdom Park once offered the opportunity to feed live crocodiles, but it's since reportedly been closed by the local police and the Thai government for its many safety hazards. And we can see why. As many as 15 tourists were crammed onto this makeshift raft, kept afloat by plastic barrels strung together. People stood just inches away from the 10-foot-long crocs that lurked in the waters of the crocodile farm. And to make matters worse, they're even drawing the killer reptiles closer with tantalizing steaks of meat. The feeding cage may have had a high-wired fence wrapped around it, but that doesn't stop this from being a potentially dangerous scenario. What are you doing today? The farm is home to around 4,300 crocodiles and was drawing in as many as 500 tourists a day before its closure. Yikes. <laughs> White Island Volcano New Zealand's Wakari, also known as White Island, is home to an active volcano that has exploded with catastrophic consequences. Despite the obvious danger that comes with a thousand-foot cauldron of lava, this magnificent natural attraction still drew hundreds of thousands of tourists to the island with amazing views and colorful scenery. This area, steeped in Maori legend, saw boat tours visiting every day of the year, packed with gobsmacked tourists who couldn't believe their eyes. However, this kind of natural beauty comes comes with a high price. The volcano erupted in December of 2019, and the sky surrounding the dangerous caldera was filled with ash, rocks, and steam, rising as high as 12,000 feet in the air. Experts said that the volcanic activity level on the island had been increasing since October, but the blast couldn't have been predicted due to the eruption having been caused by a buildup of steam and not magma. This impulsive event took the lives of 16 people, with two dozen people hospitalized. People across the world began began to question why the boat tours were still allowed to go ahead. And get so close to this dangerous volcano. Will this change the destiny of dangerous tourist destinations? Mount Washington 
This extreme tourist destination is famous for being the most dangerous small mountain in the world. The 6,228-foot-tall Mount Washington has claimed the lives of many unfortunate hikers due to the horrific weather conditions on the U.S. mountain. The terrifying trek is easily accessible from Boston and New York, and many people rush from the cities for a quick escape into nature. From an outside perspective, this may seem like a relatively easy summit to ascend, and as many as 250,000 tourists flock to Mount Washington every year and 281 inches of snow every year. Hurricane force winds are a regular presence. However, this climb takes a lot of preparation, and it's often hikers who are caught off guard who fall foul to this perilous mountain. Almost 150 fatalities have happened here since 1849, mostly due to hypothermia. The wind chill up here can reach negative 100 degrees. In fact, the wind up here is record-breaking. The highest wind velocity ever recorded was logged in 1934 with an astonishing speed of 231 miles per hour. It's these strong gusts that can push hikers off the edge of the mountain, and if you're not wearing enough layers, you can find yourself freezing in the elements. Even the trees stop growing here at 4,400 feet due to the extreme weather. The morale of this story don't underestimate Mount Washington. <laughs> Bikini Atoll This island may look stunningly beautiful, but it harbors a dark secret. According to reports, this Pacific island is still more radioactive than Chernobyl and Fukushima. Thanks to a series of nuclear explosive tests conducted by the United States between 1946 and 1958, the small island of Bikini Atoll was one of the sites used by the government to try out various bombs, including the devastating hydrogen bomb that was detonated in 1954. Yup, the turquoise waters and white sand on this island may look idyllic, but it's actually afflicted by radiation levels that are higher than the accepted levels for human inhabitation. Caused by the explosion can be seen pulling the soot from the ship's stacks into the center of the rising column. Even after 60 years have passed, you don't want to pack your bikini for this radioactive beach. <laughs> Bolivia's Death Road Yungus Road in Bolivia may attract hundreds of tourists, but it also claims the lives of people who wander its path. This 43-mile-long road passes through the Cordillera Oriental mountain chain and reaches 15,260 feet above sea level at La Cumbre Pass. It's been called the world's most dangerous road due to the fact that there are no guardrails, the frequent extreme weather and limited visibility along the way. There's a reason that this mountain pass is also known as Death Road. There are reports that nearly 300 people were killed on this very road in 1994. The road was first built in the 1930s by the Paraguayan prisoners during the Chaco War, and it stretches from the peaks of the Andes down to the sweltering Amazon rainforest. The stunning views are a huge attraction for tourists seeking adrenaline-fueled adventure, and the first mountain biking tour began in 1998. You'll need nerves of steel to cycle alongside this 2,000-foot sheer drop and some serious expertise to navigate the hairpin turns on Yungus Road. Mount Everest This treacherous mountain is one of the most famous peaks in the world. Yeah, Mount Everest is notoriously hazardous, and many people haven't lived to reach the summit. At 29,305 feet, this mountain is the highest on the planet, and it's only getting taller. Everest grows by a quarter of an inch every year, only making the ascent to the top more and more difficult. Even though the dangers are apparent, the number of people attempting this gargantuan achievement is increasing, and experts say that cheap expeditions and affordable accommodation could be to blame. Back in the day, mountaineering was exclusively for the privileged few, as interest in climbing Everest boomed in the 1950s. But today, it seems that all you need is a copy of your passport and a certificate of good health to attempt this risky climb. This 50 million year old summit has about a third of the air pressure you would find on the ground, making breathing incredibly difficult. Of course, hypothermia and frostbite are both serious possibilities, as well as avalanches. Reports of climbers stepping over bodies on their way up have even emerged in the press in recent years, making tourism a serious concern on Mount Everest. <laughs> Death Valley Can you believe that this hot, dry desert is a tourist destination? 
Yeah, Death Valley may hold the record for the hottest place on Earth, but people are still traveling from all over the United States and the rest of the world to take a glimpse of this impressive national park. This enormous park spans over 3 million acres of American wilderness and crosses the border of California and Nevada. It's the largest park in the lower 48 states and is also the hottest driest and lowest of all the national parks. In July 2018, Death Valley saw the hottest month on record with an average temperature of 108 degrees Fahrenheit and a maximum high of 127 degrees four days in a row. Yeah, Death Valley might be a hellish sun trap, but that doesn't stop curious tourists from visiting. There are glorious floral displays that bloom in this desert terrain during the spring, attracting butterflies, hummingbirds, and bees. These super blooms turn the barren terrain into a lush meadow, but they only occur when rare rainstorms sweep Death Valley. Another attraction is the singing sand that sounds like a low hum or a ringing pipe organ. This bizarre phenomenon is caused by the friction between moving sand grains and haunts the desert valley. Yep, Death Valley is full of wonderful surprises, but tourists must remember to stay alert. The extreme heat can kill, not to mention the black widow spiders, rattlesnakes, and scorpions that linger in this unforgiving desert. <laughs> Chernobyl who knew that the site of the world's worst nuclear disaster would turn out to be a hot tourist destination? Visitors traveled from all over the planet to snap a selfie in the abandoned city of Pripyat, posing in dilapidated nurseries and neglected grocery stores. The explosion of the Chernobyl reactor in 1986 caused the entire area to be evacuated, with its residents never to return. The radioactive fallout exposed millions of people to dangerous levels of radiation, but today it seems to be the preferred vacation destination of dark tourists, people who love to explore the weird and creepy pockets of the world. The radiation is thought to be much less dangerous these days, but tour guides still carry monitors just to make sure the area is safe. Ever since the wildly popular HBO show Chernobyl aired, tourism to the area is only growing. Would you ever want to check out this old abandoned disaster zone? Let us know in the comments below. <laughs> Donakil Desert Believe it or not, but Ethiopia's harsh and unforgiving Donakil Desert still draws in crowds of tourists every year. Yet this location has been nicknamed the most inhospitable place on Earth, and temperatures can soar over 122 degrees in this dangerous desert. There are earthquakes, volcanoes, sulfur springs, and even lava lakes. This low terrain is so far below sea level that locals call it the gateway to hell. In fact, it's impossible for tourists to visit here without an armed guard or a native Afar guide. Although this place is dangerous, it's hard to look away from the incredible view. This may not be everyone's dream vacation destination, but there are still plenty of adventurous souls who count the Donakil Desert on their bucket list. Hmm. Madidi National Park Just look at this luscious national park. We can see why so many tourists head to this beautiful Madidi forest. Even though this stunning location has some of the richest biodiversity on Earth, this awesome jungle should not be underestimated. It's definitely one of the most dangerous tourist destinations in the world. While it's home to over 120,000 insect and bird species, caimans, turtles, monkeys, and even jaguars, there are also some incredibly deadly creatures and plants lurking in this South American rainforest. Spanning over 19,000 square kilometers from the Andes down to the Amazon, you can find some of the world's most poisonous plants dangerous parasites, and biggest spiders lurking around every corner. Yeah, the Madidi National Park is magnificent, but it's also full of danger. Snake Island If you want to visit this uninhabitable destination, you're gonna need a permit first. Yet yeah, humans are actually banned from the notorious Snake Island, 20 miles off the coast of Brazil. This crazy island is actually called Ilha da Cameda Grande, but it has earned its sinister nickname thanks to the 4,000 deadly vipers that call this rock home. The Golden Lancehead Viper is one of the most dangerous snakes in the world, and its venom is so powerful that it can melt your flesh off. And if that wasn't scary enough, there are approximately five snakes per square meter on this island. Yikes. We can see why people aren't allowed to step foot on this nightmarish island. Rumor has it that people used to live on Snake Island up until the 1920s when the lighthouse keeper and his family were stalked by killer vipers. 
Since then, the Navy have patrolled the island to make sure no one enters this creepy kingdom. <laughs> Mount Sinabung This 8,070-foot-tall volcano in Sumatra, Indonesia may be spectacular, but it's also located on the deadly Ring of Fire. Now, we don't know about you, but that doesn't sound like a super relaxing vacation spot to us. Also known as the Circum Pacific Belt, this region in the Pacific Ocean is rocked by a frequent earthquake and is dotted with active volcanoes just waiting to explode at any moment. Shit, that's a big one. Yes. In fact, the Ring of Fire is home to at least 75% of all volcanoes in the world. Mount Sinabung in Sumatra certainly is picturesque, but back in 2010, it finally erupted after a 400-year hiatus, sparking concerns over tourist safety. More recently, the volcano released a 16,400-foot-high stream of ash and smoke in August of 2020, turning the sky black. This is one dangerous tourist destination that we're in no hurry to visit. Lake Natron the unique and awe-inspiring Lake Natron is home to a colony of fabulous flamingos, but also a disturbing natural phenomena that will creep out even the most brave-hearted. This Tanzanian salt lake literally turns animals to stone. The harsh alkaline water in Lake Natron has a super high pH of 10.5, and the water is so deadly that it can burn skin and even turn you blind. When photographer Nick Brandt shot these horrifying pictures of the mummified creatures that had fallen in the ghastly lake, he even said that the water stripped the ink right off of its Kodak film boxes. The dense lake can even fool birds into thinking that the water surface is a glass door, and they fly right through to their tragic demise. The same fate was even met by a helicopter flying over Lake Natron, proving the severe danger that this haunting lake possesses. Kamchatka's Valley of Death so we've been to Death Valley in California, but what about the Valley of Death in Russia's Far East? This small valley in Kamchatka is only two kilometers long and half a kilometer wide, but it still has a huge impact on the local wildlife. That's because creatures are mysteriously found dead here, showing no signs of injury or disease. Animals and birds lose their lives here on a regular basis, thanks to invisible volcanic gases in the valley. Scientists researching this strange phenomena have reported feeling nauseous, weak, and dizzy as soon as they step foot in this killer valley, and research in the 1970s showed that hydrogen sulfide, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and carbon disulfide was lingering in the air. The valley's unique shape creates a trap of these toxic chemicals forming in the spring when the snow first melts. Hmm, we'll take a sunny beach resort over this tourist destination any day of the week. We don't know about you, but all this talk of exploring the globe has us dreaming of a vacation. So which one of these terrifying tourist destinations would you take a trip to? Let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. You can also hit subscribe for more awesome Missing Files content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.